FAME provides access to the complete financial reports of major British companies, covering over 11 million companies in the UK and Ireland. This video will show you how to create a list of companies by selecting specific criteria, for example, industry type, location and company size. This can be used not only for assignment purposes, but also to prepare for a speculative job search by creating a list of potential companies to contact regarding employment. To begin, we can browse for a particular industry from the FAME homepage by clicking on Activities in Industry and Industry Classifications. On the next screen, we get a list of industries that are arranged in terms of UK SIC, where SIC stands for the Standard Industry Code. I've scrolled down the list to number 71, which is Architectural and Engineering Activities. This is quite a general heading, but I can click on the arrow next to the number 71 to make it more specific. You can see here that I've clicked on the arrow three times to give us the final category of architectural activities. This appears on the right hand side of the screen. Then click OK. There are 22,282 companies that fall under the heading Architectural Activities. I can reduce this figure by limiting the results to a specific region of the UK. To do this, click Location and then Region. On the next screen, there is a list of different regions of the UK that we can choose in order to narrow down our search. I've clicked Northwest and then Manchester. This will display only companies that are based in Manchester. Then click OK. The number of results has reduced to 272. I can limit the results further by selecting the size of the company. This can be useful if you're searching for small and medium sized enterprises or SMEs, where the maximum number of employees is 250. Select company and then the number of employees. I'm going to use the boxes to only include companies who have a maximum number of employees of 250. Then click OK. The total number of results is now 121 and I can click View Results to get a full list of the companies. The company names are listed along with some key information about that company. You can change the information that's listed by clicking on Add Remove Columns. The headings from the previous screen are displayed on the right and by clicking the crosses I'm going to remove all the headings except for Number of Employees. I'm going to add some more information. Firstly I click Industry and Brand Names and then the plus symbol next to trade description to see it appear in the list on the right. Next I click contact information and then website. Then legal and accounts information, legal information and SME indicator. Finally, I click contact information and primary trading address. I now click apply. The new headings have been added across the top of the table. You can click add remove columns to add and remove more information as you wish. And if you wish to export the information into an Excel spreadsheet, you can do that by clicking the link at the top of the page. If you want to look at more detailed information about a specific company, you click on the title of that company and it will take you to a separate page. On the first page, you can see general information and financial information. And you can also use the links on the left to find out more detailed information about the company. For more help and information, please email library at mmu.ac.uk or visit the library website.